Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. Let me talk about the Sonoras I rebuilt. And it's very interesting when you do send a phonograph to someone that you include the crank. And it's always the cost of the rebuild, the labor, plus parts. Like this Sonora here, the springs are in backwards, and you can see this. And this one had collapsed too, so you replace both of them. If you bend this back in, try to hook it up, these will eventually break down the road. So we had to put two springs in and an arbor and everything. But these are really nice motors. You, you do this and you just, oh, look, a couple of cranks and they fire up. Now, here's the nice thing about Sonoras. These things are dead silent. Absolutely dead silent. And they're wonderful motors. And we always send the parts back to the customer. On this one, because the customer sent two motors at the same time, we didn't bill him for three barrels, but only for two on this one. And this one I had to do an arbor and uh, redid the governor weights and springs because in a previous video I showed that these were all bent up. And the problem with these, these weights, because this gets expensive on them, These are riveted on. So now you have to find another pair of weights the same size that are riveted in the same spring length. And that's three weights. That's not just one. It's like another motor I'm working on, a Victor. I worked on the Bubba Victor machine, and they had a broken spring. You change all three springs in the governor. Nicely, Victor's, they screw on and off. They're very nice. And this one's very nice, too. This one cranks right up. Where did you get these cranks? Oh, I had this crank, but it's a couple of cranks. And you see this fires right up like this. A lot of power. It has the same quietness as the other motor. Dead silent. Totally rebuilt. You know, when you, when, if you send a phonograph motor out to get worked on, you always want to include the crank. If you send the motor and, and the crank and the turntable and everything, then the turntable gets balanced. So you want to include that in a package if you want that done. And things ha happen on phonographs. You have to understand we're working now with over 110 or 20 year old phonograph springs and these things do break. And you do have people who get in there, like I've talked about, Uncle Bubba trying to fix them and they don't know what they're doing. And, you know, this is just things I need to point out to customers and everybody else who wants a phonograph rebuilt that sometimes we don't know what's inside and what's been done to the phonograph motor. Now, you saw this. You said this one had no grease in it. This one, when I got it, this, this motor had no grease at all in it or oil. And the drive gear on this shaft going in and in the shaft going in here had no oil on it. Everything was dry, frozen up. And this happens over time. You know, a phonograph motor or a phonograph sits out there in the barn, sits up there in the attic, sits there in the basement, and nobody touches it for 50 or 60 years. And then they go, grandma dies and they go, oh, I want grandma's phonograph. You know, and they go, we need to look at this. You know, it probably needs to be oiled and tuned up or re redone. And that's my tip for the day.